Right now, as you watch this, invisible waves are escaping Earth. TV broadcasts, radio shows, even mobile signals race outward at the speed of light. Some have already passed thousands of stars. But how far will they travel? And could aliens be listening right now? Let's find out. Since the late 1800s, Earth has been leaking radio waves into space. First telegraphs, then radio, then television, and today, mobiles and Wi-Fi. All of it travels at 300,000 kilometers per second, the speed of light. Radio and TV are light waves, just longer in wavelength. Each transmission expands like a balloon, growing larger and thinner as it goes. For over a century, our planet has been a faint radio beacon. On galactic scales, it is still just a tiny bubble. The strongest early broadcasts from the 1930s and 40s have now traveled about 100 light years. Any civilizations within that radius could be tuning into our oldest shows. The 1936 Olympics broadcast is roughly 89 light years out. The Apollo 11 moon landing sits about 56 light years away. Together, they form an expanding bubble now hundreds of light years across. If someone is there with the right gear, our earliest signals are just arriving. But arriving is one thing, detecting them is another. As waves spread out, they weaken by the inverse square law. Old analog TV was loud. Today's digital compressed signals are far quieter leaks. Our strongest shouts are military and planetary radars. To hear most of our leakage, aliens would need telescopes far bigger than any we have. Beyond a few hundred light years, our whispers drown in the noise. Possible? Maybe? Easy? Not at all. We have also sent intentional hellos. The 1974 Arecibo message targeted the M13 cluster, 25,000 light years away. Voyager carries a golden record, drifting through interstellar space. New Emeti projects continue the idea, carefully crafted messages sent on purpose. In theory, light travels forever. In practice, our signals fade into background noise, around 100 light years, detectable with advanced tech. By 1,000, probably lost. Across millions, gone. Right now, our century of radio and television rushes into the stars. Whether heard or lost, every signal says, we were here.